So, hello everyone, and welcome to a review of Digimon Adventure 02 Diaboramon, or Diablomon, <laughs> depending on which you, which you prefer, strikes back. Yep, going through our movie reviews, and unlike the first three, these, this one's probably a little less known. Yeah, yeah, this wasn't so well released over in English, and wasn't in theaters, and at least as far as I realized, it was not released around here, if it ever was released in theaters in this region. And... It's Digimon Adventure 02. I will tell you up front, we are biased. It's one of our least favorite seasons ever. So, take everything we say with a grain of salt. We are salty about this season. But, to be fair, based on 02, it's not the worst they've done. Oh, no. <laughs> In fact, I guess we'll say how right up front. It's better than the first 02 movie. Yes. If you want to hear about that, hopefully I've put up that review. I would hope so. So, let us go ahead and dive right into, I mean, be warned, there are spoilers for what happens in this movie. So yes. if you're worried about spoilers for about a 20-year-old movie, <laughs> you have been warned now. I suppose I still need to tell you this, just in case. So, there is a dub and a sub version of this. The dub version is very hard to find, because, like I said, it was not released in theaters. And we actually did see the two different versions. So as we go through, there might be some little differences that we'll be talking about along the way. Like, this, like, the dub version opens immediately with what became the theme song for Frontier. Which, this movie came out before Frontier was released, so they already had that song worked on. Because the original theme for the first three seasons is the same. Yeah. <laughs> with very minimal differences for DigiEggs and Digimodify. But it, the beginning is kind of playing through the credits. A little bit of a clip of where our characters are and what they're, what they're doing. Including some other random people. Yes, this is just like Ghost Game where you don't need to care who these people are. Yeah, it does not matter. <laughs> they will not come up again. Where they're looking up something on their computer. It looks like an email and a familiar looking little jellyfish with a contact lens. Yes. <laughs> As they put them in the, at least the dub. They call them jellyfish plenty of times. They call them jellyfish here, yes. Comes pushing out of the screen and... Yeah, Digimon invading the real world, that's generally... Generally a bad thing. Mm, bad thing. Especially one that's, you know, been tied to a pretty bad Digimon in a previous <laughs> movie. Yes. So, we find our main cast. You know, Lee's trying on some school outfit in the dressing room. Cody's doing his usual kendo thing with his grandfather. Davis is walking along the road and finds these really weird group of kids. Looking at some jellyfish. Not the Kuraman, jelly, actual jellyfish. jellyfish. And they're talking about, oh, how the jellyfish shouldn't be in the water. They should be flying through the sky and outside with a giant eye. And they each have to repeat the last line that the last one said. Yeah, all four of them repeat the last line like four times. They do it three, four times. Yeah. So it's really obnoxious. It's, 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 it's creepy, at least. It's, it's more like creepy in that. Because they are so monotone. At least in the yeah. dub, they are so monotone True. about it. And just, uh. <laughs> And it's just a way to prove that Davis is an idiot because like I thought, <laughs> I thought jellyfish were swimming in the water. Like you would have to even ask this, Davis. Why? <laughs> and then his, that's our dice game. And then his digivice starts going off. They start like mobbing him almost. I, it's just a very it's weird odd scene. It's a weird scene. And about this time, we actually see Diaboramon somewhere. Briefly, yeah. Uh, he doesn't have anything to say because well. Especially in the Japanese, he never <laughs> never says his word in Japanese. He never word. does. He says very little in English too. So, but gee, who's gonna be our bad guy if we're seeing Kuramon and Diaboramon? And spoilers: the the thumbnail and title that you clicked on that said his name in the title. Yeah, it might be the bad guy. And obviously, to use the, the zero two villains because they're all so good. Oh yes. Oh yes, you know, Daemon being banished to the dark ocean and coming up, rising up with a creepy, you know, pseudo Digimon army. No, no, that, that would actually be cool. Yeah. <laughs> that actually done one. Thinking there's one of the cool <laughs> things. Few cool, cool things. Zero two actually did. Might have done, yeah. But and anyway, so we move on to. Davis is finally arriving at a building. Yeah. Saying Izzy's gonna kill him because he's late. <laughs> yep. And we and it... shoot the switch. To Izzy, Yoshiro. And there's a knock on the door, and the password is, I mean, it's just amazing. Digi, digi, mon, mon. <laughs> Whew. And most of the gang is all here, even a few of our original Digimon mm -hmm. Adventure cast. It turns out that three of them are not there. 
Mimi is returning on a plane from America, which we've established that she goes over there yep. fairly often. But that's fine. She's complaining to the steward, the air stewardess, at least in the dumb version. <laughs> She's doing something random. <laughs> yeah. And then Joe is trying to get his test scores because apparently there's some delay. They lost him. Yeah, something's something like not that. quite right. Yeah, and the Japanese version he's saying, I know I passed this test mm -hmm. to the person. Right. And then Sora, I totally forgotten that she actually went away from soccer that she used to play with Taiki, Taiji, and now she's doing tennis. Which, I mean, changing the sport you play, especially as you grow up, it's not, yeah, not a huge that thing. uncommon of a thing. I just, she had tried to forget the season. <laughs> I forgot that they did that change. And so they're they're going on without him, and Izzy starts to explain that. Well, first she mentions the pictures. Ah, oh, yes, that they find these pictures, and uh, it's a young Tai Chi she, with what might be a wedded bed sheet or something uh, yeah. behind him. But yeah, and then another picture of Yamato and Takaru and <laughs> TK. Yeah, and relatively recent. Okay, and, so. that, and, and, and Izzy assumes that yeah, this must have to do with Diaborma. Why? How? Why would he care? The only the only way he would even guess that it's related is he saw Kuramon was the baby form of the Abarman because he saw him four years ago. I don't know yeah, exactly yeah. how long it would have been in the actual timeline. Uh, Actually, he doesn't mention Kuramon at this point, but he mentions that the Abarman's back, that he survived and reproduces. And how did he survive? I don't know. We have no idea. I can't tell you. They won't yeah. tell us. Yeah. This is a fairly major thing. Maybe they released it in a Fortnite special. Ah! <laughs> like yes. Star Wars did. <laughs> no, I don't think we get that. <laughs> no. They use the standard technique of we're never even going to bring it up. Yep. Lazy, just... lazy writing technique for no years over. But then he starts mentioning the emails that have the Kuramon attached to them. Yes. So, um, so obviously it wasn't that a little minute. It was the pictures of the kids. It's kids. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're doing great. But so he mentions that do not open these when you do. A Kuraman can use it to come out and enter into the real world. And he shows a picture of one. And he's like, isn't that dangerous? No, no, it's just a screenshot. <laughs> yeah, no. Izzy is, you know, smarter than the, all of you combined, O2. <laughs> don't, don't worry. <laughs> he's not going to do that. Yeah. And so, so he presents a, a plan for them. He basically says, okay, we're going to go send Omnimon to go take care of Diaboramon. And yeah. the rest of you can go around and collect the Kuramon and send them back here. I'm going to talk to Jedi about what to do with them. Yep. Remember, remember Jedi. He's very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because another thing that will definitely come up again. Yes. <clears throat> and and Davis is all like, no, I'm going with you. And no, stick to the plan. Oh, yeah. You have your part. And besides, if it's just Davis, what is he going to do? do. Yes. He has a champion. Yeah, that, that's the thing with this team. is on their own. They never can get past champion. Yeah, they need the DNA to even reach ultimate. So, yeah, Kent, yeah without Kent, what are you doing? Yeah. Wasting time. Yes. And, of course, as they're, they're agreeing to the plan, Gadamon has to have a very dubby line of that plan is perfect before they go. Okay, even that one's a little cringy to me. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> I understand Even we got to give you that one's pretty bad. Some, yeah, I do enjoy some of the dub's lines, but that one was, that one was pretty bad. So we go around town, and it seems that they're working fairly well. They find a couple Kuramon. Yep, they just find one, no problem. One, they have to, like, almost bully a young girl to give it up if she doesn't want to. But shouldn't she have her own Digimon at this point? Because we're pretty sure in the scene before, Gatomon has her tail yeah. ring. So this must take place after, after the series. And after the series, everybody in the world has a Digimon partner. No, no. Just everyone has, you know, completely ignored that and everything that's come after. I don't blame that's them, you. but... That's what you said. That's what you established. Yeah. So, well, okay. Yeah, and then there's there's another one uh, at, at the soccer field that TK and Cody go get. and Yeah, they're, they're just all over the place. Most people seem to have seen them now. But most people know about Digimon in this world. <laughs> yeah, at this point in the Zero Two timeline and the Adventure timeline, every almost everybody should know what a Digimon is. So especially this one. It's about this one almost did. Yeah, and while they're out collecting them, uh, Izzy is telling everyone, "Be careful, 
if they digivolve, they're much harder to send. By this email thing he's been doing, yeah. Yeah, they're because of a Digimon. Digivolve is a larger file yeah, size, make, more data. It actually makes it does, sense. Yeah, it does make a lot of sense. And at this point, we thought that Ken and Daisuke were on a train, and she, Davis is complaining. <laughs> What? No. About having chased them all over town so long. Oh, man, right. and everything. And a lot of people's phones start going off. Yes. And the first one to answer it, a Kuruman comes popping out of their so. phone. And by our cell phone standards, these look so oh, dated. They, so, yeah. <laughs> this scene looks so dated. <laughs> I mean, it's about right for the time. Oh, I yeah, it the time, but it looks so dated now. Yes. And so more people start answering their phones and more start popping out and they're like, oh wait, stop, don't answer your phones. And we cut away from the actual interesting part of dealing with this. <laughs> Until they come out of the train. Yeah. And they've got just handfuls of, <laughs> armfuls of Kuramon. Beamon, I told you not to attack them. They might digivolve. I'm sorry, we well, gotta tell them. Izzy, I don't want to call him, he's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> But of course, he they at, do. Least, at least Ken makes him. Because <laughs> knowing Davis, yeah, he wouldn't actually. <laughs> he wouldn't actually fall through. He's like, wait, they didn't digivolve? That, that's strange. Well, why wouldn't they? So he, he begins to suspect that something's not quite as it seems here. But we cut to internet now. Or... Yes, it looks very similar to the War Game movie. <laughs> Which makes sense. That's and where they they're... digitized Tai Chi and Yamato this time. Because they couldn't really do last night. I guess they learn how after the end of it. Yeah. I, I it's get, not the strangest thing. I get with the digifices making them digital and digital gates. And, yeah. It's not the strangest just It should be unusual, but it's not here. They'll do it several times. Yeah. Yeah. As, and as they're flying through, they notice that the Kuramon are ignoring them. He's flying past them, yeah. And even one bowls into Agumon and just keeps going. It's like, oh, the eyeball that big. You'd think they'd be able to see me. And yeah, they're like, well, we're here for a reason. Just a good one. Yeah. We got no problem. You ready? All right. Algamon, DNA warp Digivolve. What? <laughs> I've never heard that. That's like a line for a moment. I've never heard that be a thing before this movie of DNA warp Digivolve. Either one, sure. Together? Did you not have enough time? I mean, this is only a 30-minute movie. <laughs> you know, by movie standards, it's real short. But trust me, given some of the other things we saw, you had time <laughs> to actually... <laughs> Make yeah, the fact that apparently you can just make Omnimon whenever you want. Yeah, that that's very powerful. That's a that should be a big deal. You could have done this the entire zero two standard story, and you didn't. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, yeah, we get Omnimon. Yeah. He's back again. Yeah, he's back and enters into a spherical room that, if you watched our war game, you've seen yeah, it looks very similar. Much. Yeah, it's just got some like rings of. Eyeballs and kind of Kuruman. Sometimes flat and Kuruman and a bunch of all that's all things about. circling around. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty much the same room. Instead of the Abormon, we have Kuruman just kind of buzzing around them in, in the swarm. And so he starts pulling out Transcendent Sword. I'm going to call it Transcendent Sword. It's not Grey Sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and starts slashing through him. And gee, because it's, you know, Omnimon, it's not hard to slice through. Except he doesn't so, seem to. He seems to miss every single one. Yeah, I mean, there's some small explosions, but let, let's go back to where he was wiping out <laughs> hundreds mean, of is, yeah. megas per swing. Omnimon blinking should destroy these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are baby Digimon. This isn't even in training. This is as far on the spectrum as you can get. I mean, they fire some supreme cannon, but it seems like the little Digimon all go around and, like, eat it and... Yeah. I have no idea what's going on. What? <laughs> this makes no, no sense. So obviously he's to explain what's going on. No, nope. he doesn't. The only thing that he says here is he's laughing at us. Well, yeah, if you're a Texan, would be stopped by a baby Digimon. I'd laugh at you too. But <laughs> the Zero Two would wreck a good Digimon like Omnimon. Oh, yeah. they wreck everything they touch. So yes, they would. <laughs> and so we get back to everyone else who's out collecting, and apparently. TK and Kari want to go in and help into the internet. I mean, I'm glad you want to go help your brothers, but what do you think you can do they that an Omnimon Ultra out there, yeah. or Super Ultimate, whatever you want to call it, can't handle? Yeah, Omnimon can't help, but you guys aren't going to handle it. You guys aren't going to help. Yeah. 
Like, need to be back coming up with plan B here, but I mean, I can't now. So yeah, so I mean, at least this group does communicate to each other that they're doing. Things. Yes, they, they do a lot of they do a lot of talking, and of course they're still all out, supposed to be gambling the Kuruman. That's what they're doing. And of course, immediately upon hearing Kari's going in, Davis wants to <laughs> immediately break the plan. Yep, <laughs> and go in after. As someone to borrow their computer, which. Apparently, in the two versions, it's very different how. <laughs> He's dedicating himself to being his servant for life in the dub. And I'll throw in five bucks. Where it's a very simple thing. And yeah, they kind of ask him miles a lot. Yeah. That's all I need. So they call up. Yoli. Yoli. Miyako. Would be her. The Japanese name, sure. Who's just sitting around doing nothing. Apparently. And asks him and asks her to open up the digital day before. Well, she's doing nothing, so sure. Why not? She's free to. Yeah, or. I, I, I assume, yeah, get me onto the internet with him. And so we cut over to Patamon, Gatamon, <laughs> TK, and Kari, and they are going in. And the angels finally kind of accomplished something here after kind of getting their butts kicked last time we saw. <laughs> they kind of grabbed Diaboramon, and Omnimon runs the source to his head. Yeah, they're able to plow through the clouds of, of Kuramon, the form of screen, to, yeah, let him get in there and stab him through Supreme Cannon <laughs> into the face. I... I, I was kind of. It's a highlight. It's a highlight. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it and there's kind of a sharp body just falling through cyberspace afterwards. <laughs> and that's the last we see the Aborimon. Yeah, because his body. But then the flattened rings of Kuramon start to spread out into actual Kuramon, and they start going out through all these holes that suddenly appear. That may because Yoli said that she got through. She got through, or uh, as she says in the Japanese version, maybe I made the hole gate a little too big. But the thing is, they were getting through holes into the real world already. already. So what really so did this make it worse? Apparently. <laughs> is this part of the plan? I don't know. Yeah, it, 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 it seems like it wasn't. <laughs> and as they but are... Lizzie's not freaking out going, oh my god, what happened? Either, so... Yeah. Yeah. And as they're leaving, there's this text box that shows up behind them, like closing it off. And they start to be like, oh no, we can't get out. The, the main characters that it's closed and uh, and Angela Lange Spawn says don't worry we'll find a way well, oh oh yeah yeah no that's what she says is don't worry we'll find Let's a way the gate's closing well, did they kind of want the gate closed yeah. I, I don't really understand anyway you go to the main the human world and with one of those big skyscrapers well not really skyscraper building with screens on the side they show up a lot in Japanese shows especially yeah. Digimon and a bunch of Kuramon come out of there and start floating around because they fly now. Digimon have always kind of flown, but a baby to do it's a bit, <laughs> yeah, a bit different. But yeah, and, and it's not even like the Pokemon you know, hover a few inches off the ground. Now they're just floating through the air like soap bubbles. Yeah. But eventually, enough of the squirrel and they start going along the, the ground, and they grab uh, Vimon and Kuramon <laughs> and start carrying them off. And because Bimon and Roman suck, they just kind of whine to their tra tamers to do something. And because their tamers suck, they just kind of watch them get away. Let's watch them go. Bravo. Bravo. Yep, yep. This is, this is, this is peak zero two. And this is about the time that there is another knock at Izzy's door. As you know, he doesn't have enough to worry about right now. <laughs> yes. And in comes Mimi. Yay! She, she made it. She accomplishes nothing this movie. Yeah, and I'm not I, sure why they brought Pooh in here. Yeah, because Izzy is just—I I mean, he's stressed about what's going on and trying to work with that, but he seems just so like, "Why are you in? <laughs> why are you here? Why are you bothering me, woman?" <laughs> Those suspect the ice gate who's running around and runs into a pole because he sucks. Yes, they the traffic is all stopped up, so they have to run, and he yeah literally runs into a bus stop sign, <laughs> bus stop pole, <laughs> has to keep going. Uh, okay, our heroes. Yeah. And this ends a, starts a lot of watching those two. Yeah, run. there'll be a lot of cutbacks of them just <laughs> running around. So we're not going to tell you every time it cuts back to them running, because it just yeah. happens five, six times. <laughs> In a 30-minute movie, you wouldn't think they'd have enough time to cut that. Maybe. But they did. Yeah. Then we cut back to Izzy and talk a little more about what's supposedly going on. I thought um, his plan was brilliant. The Bormont's plan. The guy who doesn't talk. Yeah. And in the Japanese version, the original movie never gets beyond a baby laugh. Yes, the old... But the brilliant Digimon. 
Yes, the only line that he has in the English version is when the Kuraman are all appearing just before this, he says, all Kuraman get to the rendezvous point. And that's what causes them all to head towards the harbor. As it turns out. But he's saying because he really splits up like this, you can't really defeat them all. You can't really destroy them because uh, every one of these is a little piece of them. Mm -hmm. and, be, and, and it's so much easier to send through text. And, yeah, you know, this way you can get through the human world because it's so much smaller and all that. And it's, it's almost like a single file instead of, you know, a, a full. Now, why he wants to get to the human world? Yeah, he, I mean, he tried to nuke the real world before, but... He, but yeah, what really does he want? I don't know, he doesn't tell you because he doesn't talk, so... Is, does he just want revenge? But then why do you go to the real world and... <laughs> and he would cut to the city, but suddenly goes to this massive blackout. Immediately after, the person on the newscast talks about a blackout. It's only news. Yes, but he's like, if, if you're you know, experiencing blackouts, yada yada yada, and then it blacks out. Why does it black out? Well, the answer is, you don't tell us. <laughs> because, you know, Kuruman ate all the data and messed with stuff before, but that was because he was the internet, the internet really. doing that. There was pure data there. Here he's in the real world. And I could see him trying to chew on generators and things, but it would take a little while, and I think they'd show us this kind of thing. <laughs> trying to absorb data and power. And the last we see, they're just kind of wandering around the streets. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, Yoli and Cody apparently were closer to the harbor. It seems like they're, they're able to get there first, and they start to see what the Kuraman are doing. They are all just floating in the harbor. There's at least a million of them, they say. Millions floating in the harbor, and then they start to coalesce and come together and start to go up. It's just like, okay, what? Quite? <laughs> Are they doing? And they form another giant digi egg, kind of like Parrot Line came out of in the original, original movie. movie. How they have the energy to do this? How they have the intelligence to do this? To form an egg? Yeah. Huh? Especially when you see what comes out of that egg. <laughs> yeah. And everybody is going down to the harbor. I mean, not just our main cast. There is hundreds of people. It's I a, mean, it's a giant Disney egg that appears in the sky. I can see you attracting people. Yeah. But, like, even the text are like, we'll go to the harbor, bring drinks. You know? <laughs> it's just like... It's sad, but you know people would Oh, do people that. absolutely would do it. <laughs> people would do that. Oh my god, it's terrifying! Let's go! <laughs> and then mere minutes later, the egg hatches. Yeah. And out drops a... Cross... It's very scorpion. Scorpion spider cross kind of thing, yeah. Looking Digimon. And, uh... If you yeah. don't know who this is, the movie will not tell you. Yes, so we will tell you right now. This is Armageddon This is another Ultra. This is the same level as Omnimon. How did it manage to get this powerful this quickly? When, yeah, I wasn't even supposedly eating data, in the, even in the yeah. internet, to even try to do this. You, it def they defeated the main body. Yeah, they destroyed the Aboramon. So, what, what was the base to get an Ultra from this? What was the answer? We don't know. <laughs> they won't they tell, tell us. us. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Just go with it. Gotta keep the storyline moving. So, our main two heroes... <laughs> Are still running. They're still running. <laughs> so, instead of them being there to save the day... <laughs> we do get a cool scene there where there's this bright streak of light cutting across the fading water. Yeah. Harbor water. And bursting out of it is Omnimon with Ty and Matt. Who apparently had no trouble getting through the small holes. They could get out, but Diaboramon had to break himself up to get out. Oh, and you know the other two that were with them? I don't know. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I see them again, so they're not dead. Yeah, they show, they do show up later, but they don't come out of the gate that we see. So, um, okay. Uh, they, they got out. It really does feel like this is rushed, and they did not. <laughs> they did not put the necessary thought into the little things. No. Yeah, I mean, there was there is not a lot of time to it, so they they couldn't do as much, but just something. We've got how many cutscenes of Ken and Dice get running? Yeah, had time to do most better than this. And so, of course, Omnimon, or Omegamon, you know, as <laughs> those of you who are Japanese, engages him once again. Yep. And pulls out the Super Cream Cannon and blasts him like five, six times. Like, that ought to do it. But and it doesn't. But then instead of watching this fight, he switched to Dice K. 
<laughs> can. And Joe this time. Yes. Yes. They're finally stopping running because they're getting tired. And Joe shows up with a bike for him. Izzy told me that you guys are having trouble getting an arbor, so here's a bike. But there's only one <laughs> bike for two of us. Two of us, senpai. And so some other girl comes along <laughs> on a bike. And Joe just sat there her. And then we I mean, finally cut back to what we care about. Yeah, we don't actually really see what quite happens here. I I, I assume, you know, Joe's not just, you know, tackling and mugging her. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not quite how Joe usually... Yeah, that's not usually a Joe thing. But... No, no, it's more a Thai thing, maybe, <laughs> you know. It's <laughs> uh, a Marcus thing. Marcus thing, absolutely. <laughs> and we, get, we, we get back to the fight, and it pulls out the Supremes. Supreme Sword, yep. Transcendent yeah, Sword. Ultra Mode too? Oh, all right. <laughs> The transcendent sword goes running through, stabs him again, puts the cannon in his mouth, and fire. Seems very similar to what he just did about ten minutes ago in the movie, but <laughs> and fires it in, and I mean it's right into his gut. I mean, it looks like his throat's expanding with all the force and energy. And doesn't seem to do much to him, and he uses his ultimate destroyer. I uh, still don't even remember the exact name. He says it. So. No, he doesn't. Oh, the dub, he does say it, but it's it's a flare of some kind, I don't remember. Basically, he spits it back out at him. flare, yeah. And this was enough to take out Omnima. Yeah. Really one hit. We're hoes. Let's... Yeah. I mean, Omnima's been going a while. I can understand his energy starting to run a little low. Because it should take a lot of energy to form and keep Omnima. Keep that form, yeah. And, but by being defeated, he doesn't split up into Akuman and Gabumon. No. It's just, his two arms just fall off. There's no, like, the blue digital dust or anything. You just fall off. Oh. He doesn't really look hurt. And his eyes go dark. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's weird, but... Uh, We're still hosed. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, everyone's going, oh, no, because, you know, everyone's here to see this. And this is where we do see that TK and Kari are just, like, on a balcony or something. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere. watching it, doing nothing. Like, oh, okay. You guys... And, like, Yuli and Cody. Cody are here doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, but again, where are those they going to? Oh no, you could kill some champions at them. Yeah, yeah. But considering Armageddon Mon doesn't seem to have any interest in leaving the harbor, it's okay. Yeah, he's just kind of sitting there. Remember, he never shows any interest in leaving this harbor the entire movie. Nope. But hey, he's still on two bikes, suddenly our cavalry arrived. Oh, finally, yes. How long did that take him? <laughs> Way too long. Yeah. But they still can't get, through the, 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 can't get through the crowd, so what do they do? They yell their Digimon's name really loud. Literally. And, and this causes the crowd to part like the Red Sea for them. Okay, weirdos, you guys just do that. Is what it should be. Listen, but... No, this probably gets them all pumped no, up, I'm too. Like, yeah, you guys, go get them. We just lost Omni Mom, but you guys, you will save the day. Well, they don't know better. They should. <laughs> this is after the whole two series. They should know better. <laughs> they'll squander their hopes and dreams that bad. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm guessing they're expecting that they'll give them a rousing speech and they'll defeat Armageddon Mon. Yes, they'll talk him to death. Yep. Yes, that happens in Zero Two if you don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. don't, don't watch the end of that season. But anyway, they finally arrive and find their partners and we get Imperial Dramon. Who, what the mm. frick are you going to do? This isn't just because they don't like this Zero Two. No, really. Omni Mon going to do it. What the frick are you going to do? Mm -hmm. And I do love in the dub how he immediately says he's in fighter mode as he flies over there in dragon mode. <laughs> um, you guys really don't care that much about this movie that you can't even get the form right. He does fairly soon switch over yeah. into fighter mode, so it's not so bad. And he fires some blasts at him, and again, doesn't seem to do much. Though he at least is able to take a couple hits from him again, on surprisingly. But gee, yeah, it doesn't seem like he's really able to do yeah, nor, nor should he. all that much damage. But don't worry, because Sora shows up. Who will accomplish just nothing? nothing. <laughs> She's it's the very almost the end of the movie, and Sora's here now! Not even a Beomon, but Sora's here. <laughs> sure, I don't think we see Beomon in this movie. No, Beomon, Palmon, they're not here. Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't think she's going yeah, Gomelon. Gomelon, no. Tentamon at least shows up on the computer to talk to Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> yeah. And so Yeah, the battle's still going. <laughs> she, I don't know why she's here. <laughs> I guess, but they're saying there's no hope for us. And then Nesky says, but we always fight to the end. end. We and never we start up. laughing. Because <laughs> yeah, they run away all the time. Oh, God. You, you, you see the Black War Angsty Mon arc? You uh, see the arcs before that where they're just like, I don't feel like going today? Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys really fought. But this is enough to inspire Omnimon 
to get back up and do what always happens in Zero Two. Zero Two gets a boost by by doing absolutely nothing. Yes. The advent, yeah. They're like, yes, we will give you our power. And so Omnimon finally dissolves into Agumon and Gabumon. They're at least safe having the DNA bitch of Alpha Gold Yes. But they launch a beam of light and power to him and they grab it. Oh no, the sword appears yeah, in front of them. They're like, grab it! No, really, what were the else they gonna do with it, Davis? <laughs> and so they grab it and. It, it, is, is this what uh, merc- is this what inspired merciful mode later? Because that looked terrible. Probably well, mode's not the worst, but <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of a hellish swap though in the grand scheme. Yeah, with a bigger sword, bigger sword, a bit more kick blowy, billowy kind of. Well, yeah, this is Paladin mode. They won't tell you its name. Oh yeah, you won't you won't get his name either. And I mean, Paladin mode is supposedly almost one of the strongest Digimon that like originated everything. It helps save the ancient digital, digital world. world. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I mean, it's a you're adding Omnimon's power to a anything. Uh, to so, anything. Yeah. So yeah, it should be pretty potent. And and the attack is literally just called Omni Sword. Yep. Okay. And gee, he goes charging through and stabs him in the head. He sets a theme here. Yeah. After this time, instead of doing nothing, it causes little Karamon to start coming off the hole. Like many Digimon will dissolve into data. If defeated, he decides to start. But not here. It dissolves into little Kuramon. This way, they won't delete the data. We wouldn't want to hurt this thing. Okay. No. So they start to come up with, oh, no, we got to you know, catch them. We can't let them get out again. So Yoli, and apparently in the Japanese version, Cody doesn't talk like at all about it, but they kind of come up with a little bit together in the English of, Wait, if the if they were sent through the phones, everyone now has that address it was sent from. Them. We can use them to trace it back and use them to send it back. This actually is a neat idea. Yeah. I, I like this a lot. So at this point, so, everybody like raises their phones and shoots beams at them. Like, mm. It seems it looks like this would be where we inspire hope that, that we won't give up. Uh, we are this human race. We will fight you to get Paladin mode. Uh, but no, yeah. he's already there. Yeah, and the beams. Yeah. Are, Going out into the sword, and kind of like, everyone hold up your phones. And everyone coming together is what's able to power the sword, sword to create this white mist. That's that I'm not sure what it does. It sends them all back to Izzy. Well, somehow. it turns it to daylight first thing. Yeah, it's just, it's well, an actually a, it's an interesting. Yeah, at some point here, also we suddenly get flashbacks from the first Digimon oh, yeah. movie. Yeah, of Ty blowing the whistle, whistle. Kari's whistle. What is going on? What is this? <laughs> what is this ending? <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? I, I don't know. And then there's Matt playing his harmonica. Monica. I don't know why. We cut back. It's not the middle of the day. <laughs> and it was dark in the middle of the night before. Yeah. But like it's dawn. No, it's the middle of the day. It's bright light. I, I, what's going on? <laughs> I wish we could tell and you. And he's got the white beams. And apparently this sends all the Kuramon to the phones. And then your lease sends them all to Z. And says, they're your problem now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that, that's O2's MO, so yeah. Yeah, and we're done. Yeah, and he, and he was like, oh, good, I'll send them all back. Where, exactly? Where? Uh, where? You, you, you realize that because you didn't defeat him last time, yes. he came back to do this. Which I don't know what he really was trying to do. Whatever anyway. it was. Yeah. But, so, what do you think's just going to happen again? Is it going to send him to the digital world or back to the internet? I'm not. Are, are you sending him to Jedi? Is Jedi going to do something? Oh, wait, no, he didn't get mentioned again in the entire yeah. movie after the first line. So, for all accounts, he's just going to send him somewhere so he can do this all again. Pretty much. Okay. Sequel. I guess. <laughs> Rope credit, and then, we, then someone comments about how they're tired, and everybody laughs, and we end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, Davis, yeah, Davis tells Ken that, hey, I think I could go for a whole another job right now. And they just laugh, because... <laughs> okay, definitely want to literally say tired. And someone says tired, and they laugh. No. <laughs> yeah. So we get the nice little montage with people at the end, like, is he sleeping? I mean, me being very sympathetic about having books on books his head. Books on his head, yeah. Is he sleeping? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. we don't see Jill on a bike ride with the girl from the floor. So... This obviously is her girlfriend and t- his girlfriend and try. Is this the girlfriend and try? It's the closest thing we have, so I like it. So one of the good things I can say about this movie. Yeah, until proven otherwise. <laughs> it's my best guess. And though we so, were rough on this, this really isn't a terrible movie. No, no. I mean, 
it, it's fun. It's got a couple of cool little action scenes. It's crammed into 30 minutes. Yeah. So, if we you know, it's pretty harmless to, you know, it's slightly longer than an episode yes. of most of the series. So, it's not... I don't think you'll regret watching it. If you if you are a Digimon fan, you will not regret watching it. You can it. watch this and let me go upset again. Yeah. If you're not a Digimon fan, I don't know. There might not be so much for you. <laughs> yeah. But... This is a little slow pace for only being 30 minutes at times. Yes. It's not try slow. No. <laughs> But there's, you know, a plot going on here, and... <gasps> What's plot? Yeah, I haven't had that in, like, two seasons. And then... <laughs> yeah. We're watching Ghost Game, by the way, in case it's yeah, comes out. Yeah, <laughs> The Ghost Game is currently airing right now, to give you context, if you're watching this in the future. <laughs> yes. One of these, these are uploaded. But, yeah. And no one's too offensive here, and you don't whine in that goal, and... Yeah, I mean... I mean, it still is an old... Oh, Bob drives me nuts about zero, two. They do someone else's plans, they don't grow themselves, they get more powerful because someone else rubs something and now they're more powerful, not because they actually earn it. Yeah, they, uh, they honestly work against Izzy's plan for the most part. They start going with it and then start <laughs> going against it. I mean, as it turns out, so many came through, it probably wouldn't have... They were coming through anyway, so did they really mess with the plan? I don't know, because no. they don't really explain that, but... Yeah. And just, if you, you need a villain... To talk to tell me what's going on, yeah, or to at least when he's Armageddon, you know, Armageddon, to be destroying buildings and looking like he wants not to, just, you know? yeah, not just sit around in the harbor all day and all night, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't even have to show him hurting people, but if at least he's you know, rampaging, <laughs> you know, hitting things, okay, he's friendly, throwing up the billums that amazingly nobody's ever in, so a whole bunch of cartoons, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I get it, but yeah, just does nothing. Except attack the thing attacking him. Huh. But yeah. But don't worry. Because we have this out of the way. Yep, this well, is the last time I'll ever have to deal with a Zero Two movie. It's all good. Son, Son of a... a